Yeah. As soon as the, as soon really as the review good. card, as soon as the review card came out, this is the only thing I could think of for the rest of the movie. That's a, that's literally all I could think it of stinks. was it stinks. It stinks. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> yes, Mr. Sherman, everything stinks. Yeah. Wasn't it that, was, that was great though because you think they're going to get all shitty, but they actually get all good. Right, they get so better. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's it it's a great uh, twist. Isn't well, it cute and quaint to see a garden variety? movie mogul asshole oh my god close to one you know with the, like the, also, uh, the controversies of the the modern era I said I, before, I, I, yeah, I, he's just a piece of shit he's not yeah, a horrible he's barely piece, a piece no. of shit. And also he just goes through methodically he's like, a, he's, like a, he's like a talented average piece of shit though really it, it takes their time if they, he's not jerking off in front of anyone minutes. locking them in his office yeah they just scroll I mean, over all three you of them. You sort of get a hint of time, it. You get to watch the whole thing happen is in real time almost. I've said uh, I've said to you guys in these groups that I typically hate movies that are about making movies. Same here. But this, I fucking loved this. Mm -hmm. I loved this. <laughs> I, I love it starting out with the Val Luton, you know, the Jacques Tenere. Also, from uh, now on, if I'm the cinematographer, I'm going to not wear a shirt because those guys in the desert, like not wearing shirts and picking up the camera and like running oh, over. Yeah. Well, I cool. love that scene. I, I was like, yes, yeah. that's so rad. Yeah, but I also Western. wanted to see, I wanted to see the guy go off the train into the cactus. Like yeah. it just, it, it, it just had that, you know, it that had poverty that. poverty row cinema thing where you just like that. But it was like that out there in the camera and like get a do what you that, can. Yeah, that single shot of they were doing the Western and the Native American guy or uh -huh. come, jumps on the guy and, uh -huh. and then they're all, okay, we got it. He does okay, get him. <laughs> yeah, he does, he does the slate and the guy picks up the camera and they both right, have blue shirts run. on. And they jump in the back of the like, truck. They run and jump on a truck, yeah. But to me, suddenly like I, Filmmaking, like that represented filmmaking, like it was like construction workers. It was rad. They were oh, just yeah. like sweating well, and poverty. No poverty Row was that. just like that. They could crank out a feature every week and a half. Because I guarantee you now, especially on TV shows, if you look behind the camera, it's a 300 pound guy with like a fucking ball cap on and like, you know, like stains on his shirt. Like, and he's, <laughs> and he's just, and he's got a huge tripod and he's just barely touching the camera. It just, mm -hmm. I was like, dude, these are like sweaty hunks who are like shooting right. a film. <laughs> This I don't know. Have you seen? Have you have you ever seen a Steadicam operator? No, those guys yeah, are those guys, those guys are buff. Yeah. They fucking they tend to be tall. They have they tall. have all that shit hanging well, they, off they of have them. To be, they have no. to be pretty strong. No. When they bring them in, cool. when they bring in the SOC, they start out as Steadicam guys, then they get worn out, or they, their back goes out. And they end up being like right. They have knee sur they have knee surgery, and then they get to be a stationary. And they, 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 they get to do. They get to shoot. They get to shoot CSI with just sitting in a chair with a camera, basically. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this movie is a melodrama slash borderline soap opera, right? Right. Yeah. I kept watching that through the whole thing going, you just t turn the dial 15, 18% in that direction. And this becomes screamingly funny on purpose. Oh, I, oh no. <laughs> I know I was, I was showing this earlier, but I just can't get enough of this um, scene. Hang on. Um, da, 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 da. Like it was so close to satire parody at times. Well, this, or hysterical. Yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is brilliant because okay, she's like she gets so. Oh, insane. that was fucking hilarious. That dude. was insane. So she, when she's like, oh, oh, oh. So hysterical. She, she lets go of the wheel. She's At some like, point, she lets go of the wheel because yeah. she's so upset. And it's you like, realize that this is this is the scene like the one of Addison and uh, what's her Eve walking in in front of that bad process plate. Yeah, pretty much. Because we got it here too. It's just a bunch of grips like. With two by fours moving oh, the car. You know, in terms of how they put it together, it was brilliant because it's the also camera... the music video for Dragula. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that was no, I almost laughed out loud during that because it was so bad. And yeah. also, I and I also, it wasn't fucking raining when she left his house. By the way, I know. And, then, <laughs> and then it's bucketing when she's in the car. I was doubled. I was doubled over laughing. I know. I was just that. paralyzed just with like couldn't... this is. Uh, Part of it is like, this is the silliest thing I've ever seen, but part of it is like, this is beautifully done. The camera goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. The, the, the really nice effects are really me. good. And yeah, just sit in the car and act hysterical and get more and more hysterical until you find This is a out. really, really well-made bad movie. It is. This, it is. This, is, <laughs> this, is, this, is this is like the, the, the prettiest ugly person. Like this is a really well-made bad movie. <laughs> the prettiest <laughs> ugly person. It's not fair to put any movie up against All About Eve, I think, because that's Maybe. how how, it, how I felt about it was just like, oh, okay. And Scott saying that it was faster paced, 
I was a little bored with, with this because it was so linear and kind of, you know. What are the three wives? No, it's, three it's, 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 it's got three stories. It just, you, once you finish one, start the next one. I thought that, that kept the pace going for me. And yeah, three I, wives it's, it's absolutely it's enjoyable. That's what, I, that's what I said, John. I thought this movie moves slower than Eve when I was like, yeah. yeah. Well, there's just not as much. There's just not as much to it. Eve is so rich. It's so richly written, you know. Yeah, well, you know, this, this is very movie. straightforward. And this, you get all the way to the end, like they still would work for that motherfucker. Yeah, which oh, is no. that ending, another that here we go ending. ending. Movie well, that that's ending the most shot. sarcastic thing about the movie. It's still the more, like the, they're all like yeah. huddled around the phone. Yeah, I know, but it's like, you know, yeah, what, yeah, you know why? Because he made them fucking money. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Career. Well, that's what Walter Pigeon oh. points out. He goes, oh, he ruined you, didn't he? Look he how ruined you, yeah. yeah. But, 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 that's, but that's, hold that's on. That's one thing. argue about this. got more successful after they stopped working with him. Everyone, everyone needs money. That's why they call it money. Yeah. Like it's literally <laughs> this, that this, line. This is, the simple fact is, is that Mr. Shields is fucking talented. Now that's the this point. Guy, this guy is fucking talented, man. That, there, there's he that knows great what he's doing. Yeah, the there's that great scene in the beginning where he goes yeah, up and he gives it. Lana Turner that note. Yes. He's like, "Don't look up." Also, okay, I was right. pissed off though. As and a, then John, while you're still reading, John, that's when you knew he was good. But John, tell me you were pissed off when. Later on in the movie, he actually directs the picture, and then it turns out shit, right? Right. But John, tell me you weren't pissed off when, <laughs> when he was in the producer role. He's directing people like that would never happen. Like sure I was, was like, oh, you can't fucking walk up and tell, give her a note. You're the fucking producer. Get the sure fuck out of there, you piece of shit. You're like so, if, you're if you were the director so. on that picture, you would be like, you cannot fucking walk up to my actress while she's fucking in the scene and tell her to do something. No, studio you know, notes Studio myself. notes are like the thing. Like, okay. Oh, okay. dude, that's, I was so okay. pissed about okay. that. Okay, there's, there's, all of, there's, all of Marvel is just studio notes. No, Correct. Like, there's, there's, there's Jared Wright production uh, things and there's Golden Age of Hollywood production things and they're totally yeah, different I things. I guarantee you, Louis B. Mayer gave actors notes on set. Listen, listen. Louis B. Mayer fired people because they sleep with him. There's, like, producer, yeah. there's producer notes, but I doubt you, even today, the producers actually walk no. on the stage. No, no yeah, they, they have their script. They, they walk on the stage. They, right. they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have to because the director would be so beaten down by the production company, they would not ever stray <laughs> from what was laid down. But circling around to the end again, it's like, just the filmmakers here should appreciate this. It, it does Nothing can beat a good idea. Good ideas or Let's what make go. everything work. And at the end, I'm going back to, uh, even though oh, they're like, it was yeah, wasn't funny, ha ha, we're all going to, this is all Hollywood things that happen again. Fire. These guys, everybody in the whole film knows that it's all about good ideas. And Shields has nothing but good ideas. And that's, if you, if you, and really that's quick, the bottom real, line. Hmm? Real quick, I'm going back to, by the way, I had never seen Lana Turner really act and I think she sucks, but. Um, <laughs> Kirk Douglas one, also it, sucks, by the way. But here's she's the thing. Seen, Go, here's, he does. Here's, here's Jared's perv corner. I'm, I'm sticking oh. to my guns where I'm always in love with the secondary players more than the, and this yeah, woman. What, what you oh, yeah. that's a great scene. Uh -huh. yep. I am in love with her and I want to get married and have babies. Oh yeah, no, she was great, man. She was, that was she's, a fun. she's dead. She's oh, yeah. They're all dead. But, but I love how, first of all, I love how she was talking shit on the set. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and then and fucking, on the other set. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I loved it. I love it. I love, I love her it. line. It is a memorable bit part. That's for well, that's sure. Well, I mean, that's after, business. business. Look, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna dip into Jared's perv corner for a second, but I'm gonna re uh, go back to the last movie, which She's is so Barbara Bates. Man, Barbara Bates was beautiful. Is she in, the woman at the end? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, she She's hot. yeah. She's the one in that movie for sure. And unfortunately. Uh, her career went real sideways because she had significant depression issues and nobody would deal with that because it was the fifties and sixties and she ended up killing herself. Yeah. But like, just like she was gorgeous in that movie. And yes, you're right. The secondary character. Yeah. Way, way better. Oh, that's, well, that's I was attracted it. to Barbara Billings. Why? Like, why is right, Barbara right. Billings? Like, what the? I know. Barbara Billings. I know. I know what, what, what's Turner? What's Mrs. Mrs. Cleaver doing in this movie? This is Cleaver. <laughs> Does anyone else think that? I know. Pardon me, gonna... stewardess. I oh, speak uh, jive. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else think though that Lana Lana Turner she can't really act? Am I right? I mean, no. Uh, I see her in like... better stuff. She's better in uh, the Postman. Yeah. Always rings twice. Postman was amazing, but even then she was kind of struggling a bit because she's got yeah. it all, for her it was all like looks and just that ice cream blonde and all nine yards and, and I don't know that this movie mm -hmm. succeeds because of the acting. 
No, it doesn't. I think it's it's, a good it's story. over the freaking it's top. More of the story, I think. Uh, right. Right. Also, Even, Powell, Dick Powell's Dick Powell's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Dick Powell's an actor. He's all for a singer. From, no, I get again. There's a, I know Dick Powell from the 30s and the Gold Diggers of 1933 and things like that. And he's this ingenue guy, he, uh, things and dances and hoofs. He, and all, and he also played a, har- a, a detective. Detective. A in the 40s, he started playing a detective in the even, 40s. Even, uh, even Kirk Douglas's uh, Oscar moment, which uh-huh. is that, that scene I had behind me. Yeah. Because when she comes to the house and he's fucking the other girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. That, that's his, like, breakdown, like, get the fuck out of here. What do you yeah, want from exactly. me? You told me. Like, that was even that was like, that was like borderline. I was like, oh, that's good. But wait, that's bad. Oh, that's good. That's bad. Uh-huh. I don't know. I couldn't. I, I don't know. It was definitely turned up to 11. And after it was over, I went, holy shit. Because it was <laughs> so much. It was like the energy level of that was so much hotter than anything else in the movie. Right. That, Right. And then they get, then you get the hysterical driving scene with Lana Turner right after that. Which is, <laughs> yeah. It's just that is the that is the peak of that movie. And I was wondering, it's like a so, little. But, but, but here's the question: Is that performance good or bad in that scene? I, I thought it was. I thought it was good, but it was. I think it works. The suit of the scenery. It works. Change. It works. It, it totally works. And it was like that is the the peak of his nastiness. I mean, double crossing his but, director friend is pretty bad. Every this time, movie. This I'm movie. This movie basically should be called "It Works" because, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works, it works. So but, I was going to admit to you why guys, did he, why did he go to from zero to 60 in two seconds for no reason? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it was out of the blue. Well, have you seen a bunch of other uh, Kirk Douglas movies? Kirk Douglas, he yeah. does that. That's what yeah, he does. Saturn 3. He goes from zero to 60. That's his he goes from zero to 60 and no stopping. I know, I know. Everything okay, let done. me Let me ask a question, you guys. And it's I admit it's a little late for rewrites on this script, but... <laughs> you think? Three stories... Right. They have pushed Lana Turner's story to the third position so that mm-hmm. that was what we ended on when we came back. Right. When I always ended. think of it as being that way. I keep it's forgetting that hers is actually the middle. Yeah, story. the writer's the story. story is the third one. And I think they just yeah. do it for gender reasons. This is a guy, girl, guy. Yeah. And it seems like that is the worst thing that he does in the whole movie. It's yeah. The most awful he behaves. So it's That's a real easy fan. Oh, no, no, no. I think they do the writer. <laughs> Getting his uh, wife on yeah, the was, with, with, uh, when he, with when he tells the writer, and, like, he tells Gaucho to take out the writer's girl. That's pretty nasty. I know. That's when, that, 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 when, that, that, when he when he I, when he it fucks begins up with him and Emil. When he fucks up when he's in the back and he says the yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then he walks back out. That's the best acting he does in the movie, by the way, <laughs> is. is when he walks back out and he's just like, Look, I didn't know look, I'm okay, look, uh, I the things like, you say sometimes. Wait, which, which scene? <laughs> which scene was that? was great. That was a great. Wait, what, was a, scene, what scene was that? When that was when he accident accident. when he accidentally tells Bartlow that he got Gaucho to take his wife on the plane when he's he's in the back room. Oh yeah, he's always, I told him not to, him to, not to go. go on the, yeah. yeah, that was nuts. Because that, that was good. That was good. And also, well, the first time he realized the first time he fucks his director friend was also pretty good. Yeah. yeah, he comes yeah. out and he goes, "Hey, we got it. We're doing it." And so and so is directing, and you're. And it's and like, like what? what? Like, Wait, what? Okay, it's but- almost like if I say it really fast, he won't notice that he's not directing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. You're so- just not ready for a one million dollar picture. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna also, also, I really appreciate the fact that they did the fire. Like they were just like, we're gonna do the fire scene, and and we're, this is this is gonna be thirty seconds in this movie, but we are gonna pay to do this huge fire and then have him walk out of the scene. Like that's yeah. <laughs> that was great. It looked really good too, actually. It yeah, look, it does. It, it looked, looked amazing. Dangerous. It looked. It did look dangerous. I was like. I don't know if that would fly today. They might be like, you can't do that. Oh no, they <laughs> killed several extras. I'm sure. Like, also, that <laughs> scene, dude, was this week's theme cigarettes? Well, the, the, the the 50s theme was cigarettes. I was gonna I, hold on. I I think our our entire show's theme is cigarettes. cigarettes if yeah. we really look back at it, like, yeah, I mean, between this Kirk and Hannah, Hannah, Hannah Arndt, Arndt, like we're we got Douglas we get a lucky strike in that dimple in his chin. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. You know uh, that scene behind Chris it shows you that that the uh, 35 millimeter camera on the Chapman crane. That's one of the studio Chapmans. Those things are like about seven tons, and it takes 12 people to operate them. But they can move it in and out of every scene perfectly. So watching the mechanics of how they made these films, I thought was fascinating. I love like, that this whole bit behind me with the narrator going, he indulged all of his actors. He tried to be the nicest guy possible on set. And he made a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he wanted to bury it. 
I thought it came. I love, I love that scene with the real director too, though. That was great. He's like, do you? I also wanna... wonder. I also wonder like if it is a piece that the of shit. Was saying to him. No, it didn't. Oh, I thought yeah. it was actually a success. The first thing said it stink, but actually, most of the reviews were good, weren't right. they? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's they end up with like sixteen super positive reviews. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, no, no, but that was on the cat picture, right? That, that, that was the earlier picture, not the last picture. Right. Yeah, no, the we last even picture. Hear, didn't really, we didn't even hear what happened. He got good people. reviews on the first thing he did, not this thing. Well, no, but, but, no, but he's the one who says it's bad. It, he says it's bad, and he shelves it, and it's like. Yes. I wonder if it's actually bad or that's just his well, mental weirdness. His right, right before yeah. that though, I love I love the that foreign guy who's like I guess he's German or anyway I don't know. But he was, like, he was Estonian. He was a Baltic German. Okay, so he's yeah Estonian. Yeah. Um, but I love how he's like I love how he's schooling. He was Baltic quarter. He's like, you can't have every scene be the climax, otherwise you can't go anywhere. <laughs> right. he's, like, I have, he's like, do you want to fucking build up to the end of this movie, or do you want to just have every... And, I mean, of course, that's when he gets fired or quits or whatever, but I love that. You know, it was such a However, good Michael plot. Bay has made yeah, an entire was, career of every that, scene being that, the God climax. damn you, I was going to use the that exact same line. Michael, Michael Bay never Bay learned right. this lesson, did he? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, and thank God. Yeah. Right, exactly. My my favorite director has got to be Alfred Hitchcock and his wife, the disapproving one. <laughs> now, this is these are all supposed to be people that the, 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 the shield's supposed to be David. Oh, well, yeah, the Brit, the guy who does the middle movie. Yeah, yeah, that's supposed to be Hitchcock, and the other one's person. I forgot who the writer was, but it wasn't. And this is Shirley Parker. Temple. That's Shirley Temple, and, the, other, yeah. and the, the writer is it wasn't supposed to be Faulkner, but it was somebody else. Oh, there was another guy. Yeah, another guy, an academic turned writer. Who was well, actually? It was, it was Faulkner. If it was Faulkner, he'd be writing everything at home and calling in and saying, "You did it wrong." Like, that's... didn't Faulkner? Well, this guy write wanted to. This guy wanted to. Bring, that's why he brought his home there. Didn't Faulkner write the Big Sleep though? Like, come yeah, on. that's and 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 then oh, left. Oh, there's like three writers on there. And, uh, I think it's cool. They just, on a train. They, uh, they took a Chandler thing and they put oh, it. Down. I love that. Movie. Faulkner, Faulkner was so pissed off that he left Hollywood. He went back home and like would call in script notes from home. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's like what's his name from The Simpsons, you know, where he he couldn't he couldn't smoke in the writer's room anymore, so they uh -huh. just put him on speakerphone. Oh, you mean no, it's Schwartzwelder. <laughs> yeah, John yeah. Schwartzwelder. Uh, Schwartzwelder, he's a legend. But uh, oh god, that by the way, that interview. If if you guys haven't read that that interview uh, with Schwartzwelder that came out a couple of weeks ago, it's so good. Yeah, that guy was out to lunch. Uh, like, throw he's a, a link he's a... into the uh, if you can throw it a link into the uh, yeah. chat. But yeah, um, I, I or into the right, and we roll, so circle back to Gloria Graham, who I again was my favorite noir actresses. Just was she, oh yeah, I was so because... it was she was it was because you're, you're kind of laughing at her as this kind of this, this kind of daffy Southern Belle, but at the end it's just heartbreaking. She it's, actually got nominated for an Academy Award for this. I know she and, did so well, which is, which is weird because well I don't know if she did for but my favorite performance by her is in The Big Heat. Oh my God! But um, that was terrifying, wasn't it? She's so good in that that Fritz Lang film. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, also, Oklahoma. If you ever seen the the musical, she was really good in that too. Oh, I haven't seen. Uh, she's I, just a girl I have, I have, it. and yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah, but she, she has that kind of that, that kind of like a quality about her that's kind of like innocent and kind of like hurt. And but that's why that's bit... why she works so well in the big in because she is a gangster's girl, right? But she's like the ditzy. But yet she knows everything that's going on. Right. She sees it all. Mm -hmm. She could tell you all of it, but she acts like, oh, this is just, you know, this thing. And like, I don't know. She doesn't go Harley, Harley Quinn prototype. Isn't well done. In, uh, yeah, well isn't said. she in Guys and Dolls too? Is she? No, but she should have been. All right. Well, good pick though. Uh, yes. I, I, love, I, love I had no idea what this was going to be. And I was, it's, very entertaining. It was yeah, surprised awesome. me too, man. Awesome. Yeah, I thought it was getting, like, I thought that was getting a little more modern and a little more dry, uh, but this is actually oh. more turgid than I could have possibly imagined. Yes, turgid. There's a good word. <laughs> well, because it's, it's as, closer as, to Cirque than it is to Mangle. It is. It's it is. It's closer that. to Cirque. Yeah. But it's also got as straightforward and maybe you know obvious as this is. It actually still is a pretty good script it really it is. is it is it's, yeah. it's got it's got yeah if you're gonna rip off if you're gonna rip off a movie rashomon's a good movie to rip off <laughs> which is yeah, why not which came out two years previous exactly know? yeah <laughs> uh, also that this sweet smell of success came out a couple years later 
Mm-hmm. They kind of perfected this field of this thing, I thought. Right. That almost felt like a documentary. Yeah. So it, it was so gritty and just sweet really smell funny. of success is like getting knifed or something. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's like being knifed <laughs> in, in an alleyway off of Broadway and really? Street. Exactly. <laughs> You're selling this to me. Yeah. I, I have my uh, Jim's perv corner here to to compliment Jared's. The guy behind uh, Scott there, I'm trying to remember, he was in a TV show in the 60s. He was one of the husbands, I think. In... <laughs> to the left or the right? And you're, and you're a they, big gay boy for him? Uh, this guy? Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a familiar looking character actor, that's for sure. Huh. He's not, I, one, he of the cat, in... he's not one of the cat men, though. It's the one with Eve Arden and... Uh, Oh God, the mothers-in-law. I think it was called. Uh, yeah, so the, 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 the original movie is fantastic. Yeah, are we at thumbs yet? 